Hello viewers, welcome back to another video. So in the last video, as we have discussed about the cyclic coordinates. So in this video, I will give you an example, which will further consolidate your idea about the cyclic coordinate. Okay. So we will understand the cyclic coordinate with the example of motion of particle in a central force field. So let's start. So uh, firstly, we have to write the Lagrangian for the particle in central force field that will be given as as you know the Lagrangian is given as kinetic energy minus potential energy uh, and here we will use uh, our polar coordinates because uh, because that will be easy to deal with so the kinetic energy as you know in polar coordinate is given as one half time m v square that is the velocity square in polar coordinate will be r dot square plus r square theta dot square fine and as we are using the central force field so potential will only depend on the r okay now what's next as you know uh, as you can see here a uh, theta is absent so there is no theta in this expression for l so theta is absent okay what does that implies if theta is um, uh, theta is absent that implies that theta is your cyclic or you can say ignorable coordinate ignorable coordinate so in the previous video we have discussed that if some coordinate is absent in the expression for lagrangian then the then the corresponding canonical momentum corresponding to that uh, that coordinate will be constant of motion so what will be the uh, uh, momentum corresponding to theta that will be p theta and how we will obtain that that we have discussed in the previous video the p theta will be del l that is uh, del l divided by del theta dot so if you ex uh, if you differentiate this uh, this expression for l with respect to theta dot what do you get you will get one half m r square to theta dot and this two and two will cancel out so you will be left with m r square theta dot okay and what will uh, what you know about this is that this will be a constant of motion that is why and that is you know by uh, the uh, the the derivation we did previously so where p theta will be your generalized momentum okay so it, this is your constant of motion in time now that means that uh, your angular momentum this is basically your angular momentum so that means your angular momentum will be a constant of motion in the central force field okay so that will be clear i hope now you know that the uh, uh, now you as you can see that here also this is a first order the differential equation okay so this is basically your first order differential equation so for that reason this is also called as first integral okay because this is obtained by integrating the equation d d by dt of del l by del theta dot is equals to zero so when you uh, integrate this equation then only you get this okay this was the expression we used in the previous video so that's why this is also known as first integral okay so this you should know this is also known as first integral so i hope uh, this example made it clear for you how this uh, how we obtain our generalized momentum and what is our cyclic coordinate and what happens when the uh, any coordinate is when any, when any coordinate is absent in the expression for lagrangian so the corresponding momentum to that coordinate becomes our constant of motion okay so that's all for today thank you very much